Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live action video. And in this one, we're taking a look at a few live attacks from the war against DLX. That's Dark Looters X, part of the Dark Looters family, but a different clan than Dark Looters and Dark Looters Z. So they have a number of clans in their family. Uh, the reason the war is not up right now is because I'm actually recording this video after the war ended or recording this clip of the video after the war ended because I forgot to record an intro clip before I started recording the live attacks. So I wanted to just get an intro for you guys and not just cut straight to the attacks. So you'll see the attacks in a moment. Um, the ones I caught are all Town Hall 9 attacks, but Town Hall 10s, don't worry. I have another live type video coming out tonight in like six, seven hours from now probably. So be looking forward to that. It's not a type of video I've done much in the past. It's a little bit different than my live attacks and also this type of live war, uh, just kind of dipping into some war attacks as they happen. So for those of you Town Hall 10s, that should be a... Uh, interesting video for you guys coming out tonight, but this video is just some Town Hall 9 attacks I caught live during Battle Day. Um, I won't tell you guys how they went, and I won't say how the war went to keep a little element of mystery, but you'll find out very soon in some of the later videos. So, uh, that being said, hope you guys enjoy a few of these live attacks. Alright, here we go with the next live one. Just caught this a little bit late, actually. Uh, kind of got caught not paying that much attention, but uh, this one, let me adjust the microphone real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, this one, Marijan, I think, coming at this base with just a Laloon attack. Pretty basic stuff, it looks like. It uh, has the... the Golem out in front, the King, the Queen, the Bowlers. Pretty basic kill squad. I think there's only one golem, or maybe two golems actually, I think there's two golems, hard to tell in that all that mess, but uh, has a pretty solid uh, troop uh, kill squad going in there, has some balloons now coming through, this is a Laloon attack, you can see he's dropping a few balloons before he even drops the Lava Hound, I think because the air defense isn't even in range in that area yet, so gets those balloons first, I think that's a good idea, but needs to get that Lava Hound down to tank for those balloons, because right now they're starting to go down, uh, yeah, he has to get those Lava Hounds down. I would have, yeah, I mean, he kind of wasted four balloons, because now he has to drop more balloons in that area, which he otherwise wouldn't have. So he's a little bit low on balloons right now, but he has, looks like, two Lava Hounds for three air defenses. I don't know if I like the look of this. I think he was hoping to get much deeper into the base here with his kill squad. Um, yeah, this one's probably not going to go for anything. Has, what, four balloons left to deploy. Maybe if he gets this air defense, he can... Uh, he went ahead and dropped those balloons kind of back in, deep in the base. They're kind of cutting through now. Uh, I don't know. He might have a shot at this. Let's see. I think the only problem is that air defense is right in the middle of all those defenses. If there was like a little bit of a lava hound there tanking, or maybe they'll get in there. Wow, that was actually closer than I thought. For a second I thought, all right, he has no chance. But um, that air defense was just in the worst spot. Um, the balloons already in the base couldn't reach it. And then the balloons that were... Uh, were just entering the base, uh, had a few defenses to go through as well. So, tough luck there. The kill squad probably didn't get as much as he wanted. A uh, nice try. I think this should be a relatively easy cleanup attack. Um, so, I guess uh, we'll watch these pups. Or we probably should go ahead and back out and um, make sure no one else is going in live here. It looks like this, yeah, he only has like one or two pups left up. Um, so, we'll go ahead and back out and uh, check. Yeah, there we go. Check the, uh, the the map. Doesn't look like anything else is happening. So we will hang out. Nice try to Marijan and wait for the next attack. Okay, it looks like we have uh, Red Rum. Yeah, Red Rum going in here. And uh, this one, I got to be a little bit quicker. Um, but he just started. He dropped a golem, it looks like. A few wizards to create the funnel. This one is going to be a similar air attempt, it looks like. As we watch here. Has the bowlers, uh, pretty similar to the last attack, but I think a little more uh, heavily on the air part. He has three Lava Hounds. I believe the last attack only had two. Um, these live attacks can sometimes be hard to pay attention to and narrate at the same time. It doesn't make much sense. But anyway, this attack coming in here, trying to probably get uh, two of those air defenses maybe. I don't think he had a jump, so I'm not sure how his kill squad's going to really uh, go here. I, th I mean, he's deploying his air troops, and all four of those air defenses are up. Actually, right there, the top one just went down. But things are happening really fast. Has a ton of spells for those balloons, and they are just, you know, zigzagging through this space, destroying everything. That was, wow, that was quick. Like, <laughs> 
yeah, 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 this is over. I mean, it looked like he had this kill squad hadn't really done much. They had just kind of, uh, you know, taken out the queen, gotten like one air defense. He was already starting that the uh, air part of the attack, and I think just basically overpowered it. Um, wow, yeah, nice attack. Just about clean up here, so we'll go ahead and wait for him to finish off this base. Has so much time left up. Um, what's that? A minute, minute thirty in this. He might get this base in under two minutes. I think he will actually. So amazing attack here by uh, Red Rum, and uh, I think it shows. I'm buffering a little bit here. Uh, come on. I'm gonna have to back out if this doesn't stop. Uh. Yeah, I mean, by the time, it's probably already a three-star right now. Uh, that's why he's probably already a three-star right now. Um, look at those little lava pups, kind of. Yeah, everything's still moving. That's weird. Anyway, we'll back out. Looks like it's already a three-star. You guys know what happened. Um, probably was in under two minutes as well. Hard to know. But yeah, really quick three-star. I think uh, just overpowered the base, and the spells on the balloons are very effective. Don't underestimate raging up those balloons. They can do work really quick. I'll be right back with the next attack. Okay, here we go with the next one, another Town Hall 9. This is uh, Christian going in on number 16 here. And um, yeah, looks like this is one of his signature attacks. He likes bringing the Valks. And I think it's underrated. It's not used enough at Town Hall 9. Basically, it's a Queen Walk that's separate from the Valks. Um, you do the queen walk on her own, then you send the Valks in with the king, and then a few hogs that you sprinkle in where needed, where the Valks and the queen can't reach. But it's very effective, and right there, the queen's getting low. You might have to use the ability. Wow, she got low. It looks like she'll come back up right here, but that was very close. Took guts not to use the queen's ability there. Um, I probably would have, but it looks like she'll continue on her walk. I believe she can reach that air defense. Um, we'll see if she does. And step up. Yeah, right there. She's stepping up for that air defense. So that way the healers will be up for quite a long time. Um, if everything goes well, he should get some great value from this queen walk. Up top, here come the Valks. And you can see how the Valks have a nice little runway. Um, the queen cleared part of it out. So it's a nice straight shoot for the Valks through that left part of the base, approaching the queen right there. Um, the bowlers are free to sit back do some damage. You can bring max Valks or you can bring bowlers for this attack usually, um, but the bowlers are a good choice here, I think. Uh, the queen has to use the ability on the right side there, but she does not look like she will be going down um, anytime soon, uh, especially with that momentary uh, lack of damage for her to get healed back up to full health. But the Valks, um, I think he still has quite a few Valks left up. The hogs are getting too far out in front. That's one of the problems that happens is the hogs get too far out in front and they get killed by the, uh, like, because there's not enough of them, and he doesn't have any spells. So the and the defensive king will take out those hogs. It looks like he has a ton of Valks and Bowlers and everything left up. That's the power of this strategy. The Queen Walk, if it can last the entire attack, and also those Valks under the heal spell are very hard to kill. So I believe this is going to be the last attack. I actually was just about to leave, but I was able to catch one more for you guys. Um, so this will wrap up the video. Hope you liked it. Um, you got to see a few Town Hall 9 attacks today. I should be uh, showing more content from this war. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what types of videos, but you guys will see um, a little bit more content from this war over the, uh, the next few days. Should be a, a good ending. Looks pretty close right now. And uh, yeah, right there, last test that goes down. Awesome attack to Christian. Good attacks to everyone who was in this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.